Just hours ago, Illinois jails started releasing inmates who face felony charges after the end of cash bail. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Ann Allred. Our cameras were rolling outside of the St. Clair County Jailhouse doors in Belleville when the first defendant was released. Our political editor, Mark Maxwell, was in the courtroom when the judge let her go. Mark. Ann and Mike, the end of cash bail incited powerful emotions for family members waiting outside the jail today. Joy and relief for some helplessness and frustration for others. That bond had been a barrier keeping some people locked up, but it was also a key others hoped they could save up enough to afford. At the St. Clair County Jail, these windows are now obsolete, and these doors? It's going to be opening and closing a lot. Sergeant James Hendricks says the Sheriff's Department has been coordinating closely with the courts and prosecutors to prepare for the end of cash bail. Uh, this week is totally different than what we've ever done in law enforcement. Dozens of defendants in jail now may be released in a simple court order if the state's attorney declines to file a motion to keep them locked up. When those court orders actually arrive, we're going to expedite those people getting out of here as fast as we possibly can with doing our job. Those releases could happen in waves of 25 to 30 people a day until about 150 in total are let out. There's a lot of inmates that are curious to whether they're going to get out and, um, you know, not have to be detained here any further. But defendants facing more serious charges have to go before a judge for a detention hearing. That's where a public defender persuaded the judge to let Latara Atkins, a breastfeeding mother, go home to her two-month-old baby girl. I'm so happy to get back to my baby and my family. I just was thirsty to get out to them. She still faces felony charges. Police say she struck the father of her child with a stick in a drunken fight last Thursday night. The judge said she can go home but can't see him for 72 hours and can't possess a gun at all until her trial. How does she feel knowing she won't have to pay cash bail? It makes me feel good. It do makes me feel good. The new law that reunited her with her daughter blocks this family's reunion with their loved one. They need to get better with the justice system. They didn't tell us his name, but said he faced the judge today where he found he would not get out. His family had saved up thousands of dollars hoping they could have paid his bond. We have to pay for everything. His girlfriend brought their daughter, family and friends to wave outside a window because the cost to communicate directly. We, we pay for stamps to send them pictures. We have to pay for visits, which is $10 the taxes for. She says added up to more than $670 over the last few weeks. We, we can't see him. We can't talk to him unless we're on the phone. We pay for that. It's that so this is this is how we do it. This is how we can afford it to see him through a window. And we just got word moments ago, the sergeant at the St. Clair County Jail telling us the court orders just came through. 11 more inmates will get that call to go home tonight. Their charges were nonviolent, and the state's attorney did not file a motion to keep them locked up.